evaluating reliability of multiple choice question exam paper in Excel using two different mathematical equations. The first one is the Kuda Richardson formula 20 KR20 formula and the other one is the Cron Pax Alpha equation. Reliability test for multiple choice question exam is one way to measure the internal consistency of items or the score consistency. If a same group of students repeated an e same exam with the same question or questions, multiple choice questions at different occasions or different time or different dates, and the score for each individual student is similar in both occasions, then the score is consistent and the exam or the test is reliable. Reliability test can be performed in Excel using Kuder Richardson Formula 20 abbreviated as KR20. As shown on the equ equation here, K stands for total number of questions, summation of P multiplied by Q, P stands for proportion of the correct answer for each question, Q stands for proportion of wrong answer for each question, divided by the variance for the total score. Here in this data sheet in Excel, I have a data from an exam result for 10 students participated in the exam and answered 15 multiple choice questions. The value or the score for each question was recorded as either 1 for correct answer or 0 for wrong answer. And to find out whether this exam or test is reliable, KR20 will be calculated. So reliability test will be performed as shown here in this equation, the KR20 equals to K divided by K minus 1 and then multiplied by 1 minus summation of P multiplied by Q divided by the variance for the total score. So the first step to do the reliability test is to calculate the total score. So if we type here a label for this column total score and to calculate the total score is to add all the values for each individual participant together and if we click on the symbol for sum and then select the range of the questions from Q number 1 to Q number 15 and then click on enter a uh, total score for each student is recorded to calculate the total score for the rest of the student click on the cell here hold drag and until you reach the last student so the Excel will auto calculate and auto fill the total score for each participant. So now we need to calculate the variance for the total score. And to do that, we select this cell here and then insert the equal sign and then type V, V, A, R for variance. Select the first one and then select the range of the data to calculate the variance for K. 
click on enter a variance of 22.36 is produced the next step now is to calculate the p and the q and the summation of both so here in this cell i'm going to type p for proportion of the correct answer for the first question and to calculate the proportion of the correct answer for question number one can use the mean because it is calculating these the correct answer dividing them by the total number so we can use the mean here if we click on the symbol here and select the average average here mean represent the mean and select the range of the data the scores for question number 10 and click on enter a p proportion value is generated for the first questions say showing 0.3 as 3 correct answer divided by 10 equal 0.3 to calculate the p value for if for the rest of the question select questions select the cell here hold drag to auto calculate and auto fill the uh, value for each question now to calculate the proportion of the wrong answer for each question i'm going to type q here and then in this cell i'm going to uh, uh, instead of uh, counting the wrong answer and then dividing them by uh, the total number of students and i'm going to insert in that cell equal sign then one minus the p value here of this cell selecting this cell and then uh, click on enter a uh, q value is calculated again to auto fill and auto calculate the q for a or for the rest of the question select hold and drag to auto fill and auto calculate the value so here we have the p value the q value and now we need to multiply p by q and the way to do that is select the cell here insert equal sign and then select the p the cell for the p for the first question and then multiply that using the this symbol multiply that by the q selecting the q value for question number one and then clicking on enter a uh, pq is calculated for the first questions and to calculate the pq for the rest of the questions hold drag and the and the excel will autofill and auto calculate the value now we have the pq for every questions and following this equation we need to add them up all these value together and to do that click on this cell and then uh, go select the symbol for sum and select the range for pq for question number one to question number 15 and click on enter a value of 3.42 is generated so now we have most of the component to fill and calculate the kr20 uh, so here we have the k we need the k we need the uh, summation of p by p by q and the variance for the total uh, score for k as i said we have here 15 questions so k value is 15 the summation of uh, p multiplied by q is 3.4 so i'm going to click select and then copy and I'm going to uh, paste this using the uh, this paste and for the variance of the total score we have the variance here for the total score I'm going to right click select copy and then place that in this cell uh, as we saw here now to calculate the KR 20 use going to use this cell 
insert in it equal sign, then open a bracket, and then multiply that by a, another bracket to place the equation using this equation here. So in the first bracket, I'm going to add the k value. The k value is 15 divided by 15 minus 1 equal 14. So I'm going to divide that by 14. And in the second, in the second brackets, I'm going to add 1 minus the summation of p, multiplication of p by q. So selecting this. Once the value for the summation of p multiplied by q is inserted, need to divide that by the value for the variance of the total score. Selecting this cell and pressing enter, a value for k r20 is calculated and it is equal to 0.91. This value means that the test or the exam is 91% reliable. So if we look at the table here, which shows the range for the KR20 values and the measurement of reliability and labeling of the reliability, anything that is equal to 0.9 or greater is considered to be an extremely reliable test or an exam. Uh, a value for KR20 from 0.8 to 0.89 is considered to be uh, good for reliability. Anything in the range of 0.7 to 0.79 considered to be acceptable and uh, the range of 0.6 to 0.69 is considered to be questionable. A uh, KR value for a test that has a range of 0.5 to 0.59 is considered to be a poor test. And a test with or an exam with a KR20 value of less than 0.5 uh, indicates that the exam is unacceptable or unreliable. So the KR20 value ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means that the exam or the test is unreliable and 1 indicates that the exam is extremely reliable. So this is the way to determine whether an exam or a test is reliable or not by using the KR20 formula and determining the value using the equation Reliability test for multiple choice question exam in Excel using Chrome Pax Alpha. Reliability test measures the internal consistency of items, i.e. the scores consistency. If a group of students the same group of the students repeated the same exam, the same questions at different occasions. Their score or scores for both occasions are similar and that indicate that the exam or the test is consistent and reliable and the way to calculate the reliability of an exam as a whole or a test is to use the cron back alpha this is one of the one of the method for reliability test and the equations for that is as given here alpha equals to k divided by k minus 1 as k represent the total number of questions this multiplied by 1 minus the sum of the variance for each individual 
question or item divided by the variance for the total score. Here in Excel data sheet, I have a data extracted from a, an exam and a test from for 10 students answering 15 multiple choice questions and the score for each question was recorded as either one or zero one stands for correct answer zero stands for wrong answers so these data are dichotomous data binary data just two options correct or wrong and to determine the reliability of the exam as a whole we're going to use the Cronbach alpha equation to generate a value for the alpha a value of the alpha is does range from zero to one zero indicates that the test or exam is unreliable and one indicates that the exam or the test as a whole is extremely reliable or excellent the first step in calculating the reliability is to calculate the total score achieved by each individual participant or student in this case i.e to add all the scores for achieved by each individual student and the way to do that in this new cell we're going to label the this cell or this column as total score and to calculate the total score for each individual participant select the cell then select the sum symbol here and select the range of the data to combine and add from question number one to question number 15 and if we click on enter the total score for the first student is calculated to calculate the rest of the scores for the rest of the student we're going to select the value here hold drag to the last student and the excel will auto fill and auto calculate the value for the total score for each individual participant now we have calculated the total score achieved by each individual participant the next step is to calculate the variance for the total score ie the variance for these scores uh, so if we select this cell and then insert the equal sign and then type v v a r for variance and select the first options here and then select the range of the data due to, to determine the variance for and then click in, uh, enter a value of 22.3 6 or 36 is generated so this is the variance for the total score the next step is to calculate the variance for each individual questions so each one of these questions q number one to q number 15 we're going to calculate the variance for those variables and again it is the same concept if i'm going to type here variance and then select this cell in this cell i'm going to insert the equal sign and then type v a r select the first option here and then select the range of the data 
select the range of the data for question number one to determine the variance for it and click on enter a value for the variance for the first question is calculated to calculate the variance for the rest of the questions just click on the value here hold drag to auto calculate and auto fill the value for the variance for each specific questions now we have calculated the variance for each questions the next step is to add them all together so what i'm going to do here in this cell i'm going to select this cell then select the sum as i'm going to add them and then select the variance for the 15 questions and if i click on enter a value of 3.42 is generated this is the value for the sum of the variance for the questions now we have most of the component of this formula ready for the k k represent the number of questions so here we have 15 questions and for the variance for the total score we have calculated that to be 22.336 just click right click copy and then we're going to paste this value using this option here so we have now all the component for the um, formula ready the next step is to calculate the alpha value and the way to do that is to insert the equal sign and then open one bracket multiplied by the second bracket and in the first bracket I'm going to add the k the k is 15 divided by 15 minus 1 is 14 so I'm going to divide that by 14 and then in the second bracket here I'm going to add 1 minus the first value of the sum of the variance for the items selecting this value here and then dividing that by the value for the variance for the total score and clicking the enter key a value of alpha equal to 0 0.908 so this value means that uh, the exam or the test is 91 percent reliable and that is a good result and good value so here if we look at the table we can see that chrompack alpha value has different range, ranges and each ranges will be represented by reliability if the alpha value is equal to 0.9 or great, greater then the reliability is excellent if the alpha value is between 0.8 and 0.89 it's a good reliability a value of 0.7 to 0.79 is acceptable reliability a value of 0 0.6 to 0 0.69 is questionable reliability and an exam or a test that has a, a alpha value of 0 0.5 to 0 0.59 is considered to be a poor reliable exam a value of less than 0 0.5 indicate that the test is unacceptable and unreliable so this is the way to do the reliability test based on the compact compacts alpha using the formula given here by calculating the 
variance for the each questions adding the adding them together divided by the variance for the total score 